If you ever decide to search the bottom of a lake or any body of water in the world, chances are you'll find quite a bit of trash there. Although every once in a while, some lucky people do manage to come across really interesting stuff. So let's learn more about this amazing invention. A statue of Jesus. Apparently at the bottom of Lake Michigan, there is an 11 foot tall white marble cross with a life-sized statue of crucified Jesus Christ. The statue was created in Italy in 1956 after being commissioned by a family who lost their 15-year-old son in a tragic accident. Unfortunately, the cross was damaged on the way from Italy to the US and the family refused to take it. Instead, it is sold to dive teams and sunk in the lake as a memorial to the divers who died. The Mystery of Foss Lake in September 2013, two rusty vintage cars were found at the bottom of Oklahoma's Fosse Lake. It was later discovered that there were six bodies in the car. One of the cars contained the bodies of three teenagers, Jimmy Allen Williams, 16, Leah Gale Johnson, 18, and Thomas Michael Rios, 18, who disappeared after driving in 1970. The other bodies belonged to three passengers, John Alva Porter, 69, Leburn Hammock, 42, and Nora Marine Duncan, 58, who went missing in 1969. Coronima said that all six people died by drowning and deaths were accident. A missing leg. In 2016, two German town men while canoeing tipped over their feet, sticking out of a beaver dam. At first, they thought it was a corpse someone had thrown into the lake. But when they took a closer look, they realized that it was a prosthetic leg. While surfing the internet, the men discovered that someone had searched Craigslist for a lost prosthetic leg 20 days earlier. Turns out, a 49-year-old man named Mark Warner lost his prosthetic leg while fishing. A friend brought back Warner's leg with a $50 price. 200 human skeletons. About 200 human skeletons were found in 1942 by a British ranger near Rukkant, a remote lake in Himalayas. It was originally believed that these skeletons belonged to Japanese soldiers who died during World War II. However, in 2004, scientists were able to date the skeletons to around 850 AD. The remains belonged to a Native American tribe that died from the hail, the underwater Stonehenge. In 2007, Mark Holly, a professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan College, discovered a series of stones arranged in a circle 40 feet below the surface of Lake Michigan. The stones were arranged in a line that stretches for kilometers, forming an almost perfect circle. This formation is believed to be over 10,000 years old. There are some unique things about this arrangement. First, they all measure about the same distance. Vague skeletons. In 2015, while snorkeling in the Colorado River near the Arizona California border, a man made a somewhat frightening discovery. The man found two human skeletons sitting on deck chairs about 40 feet underwater. The man then reported the incident to La Paz County Sheriff's Office. The police sent their divers to the site, and their examination revealed that the skeleton was indeed made of plastic. The skeleton even wears sunglasses. Mysterious plane. In 2013, sonar equipment revealed an aeroplane that sank at the bottom of Lake Norman, North Carolina. Many are confused by the situation as there are no reports of accidents. In addition, divers have not found any bodies. As it turned out later, the plane belonged to a woman named Barbara Anderson. According to her, the flight instructor who operated the plane forgot to install the locking mechanisms, so the plane just sank. The woman had been looking for the plane for a long time because no one could find it. Nazi nuclear artifacts. In 1944, Allied forces sank the Norwegian ferry Hydro along with heavy water cargo allegedly intended for a secret Nazi atomic bomb project. In case you didn't know, heavy water is a form of water with a unique atomic structure and desirable properties for energy production and nuclear weapons. This mission was declared successful, although no one has confirmed whether there was really heavy water in it. In 2005, an analysis of the contents of one of the canisters revealed that the charge was heavy water. Mysterious Monument Found In 2013, a group of researchers from Tel Aviv University discovered an interesting cone-shaped monument on the seafloor during a geophysical survey of the southern part of the Sea of Galilee in northern Israel. It was found to be 230 feet in diameter at the base, 39 feet high and weighed an estimated 60,000 tons. It turned out the findings indicated that the structure was built on the ground some 6,000 years ago. 
In addition, according to the researchers, the structure resembles early burials in Europe and was probably built as early as the Bronze Age. Remains of the Devil in Russian Lake In 2013, the first divers to reach the bottom of Lake Lake Labyrinth claimed to have found the remains of a large unknown creature there. They are jaw and skeleton remains that may have belonged to the famous demon that locals first heard in the 19th century. And even if it wasn't the case, Lake Labyrinth itself is quite interesting. The lake is considered one of the most mysterious in the world because its water does not completely freeze even at 24 degrees minus. Hope you liked the video.